Hello guys, Blacky Chan here, and I'm here to give you guys another Call of Duty commentary, and this topic for the commentary is overpowered weapons in Call of Duty. Now, Call of Duty has had its history of overpowered weapons in the past, and I'm going to basically cover not all of them, but all the most notable ones, and all the ones that have tried to be patched, have never been patched, and yeah, just basically the most well-known overpowered weapons in Call of Duty, so let's get started. Now first we have the Grenade Launcher, or more famously known as the Noob Tubes. It's a undermounted grenade launcher that if you get in the blast radius or you get directed hit by the grenade, it will kill you in one hit. Now the attachment debuted in Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, and has basically, it was mostly overpowered in Modern Warfare 2 because of the two perks you could put on your class, One Man Army and Danger Close. Now the way you use this is you have the one man army and once you run out of your new tubes you can reselect the class that you have the one man army and grenade launcher on and you can basically keep flopping the classes every time you run out of grenades and danger close was just there just to improve the effectiveness of the grenade launchers after modern warfare 2 this attachment really really got nerfed and i think it was his, its most effective after modern warfare 2 was modern warfare 3 and then after that it kind of just faded away in existence um, Treyarch really kind of nerfed the grenade launcher, and Ghost, it was there, but no one barely used it. I barely seen anyone use it in Ghost. And Advanced Warfare that's coming out, I don't think it's going to be an attachment. I'm not 100% sure, don't take my word for it. It's pretty funny as hell to see new tubes flying in the air as you're jumping in your uh, exosuit, but I, I don't know if it's going to be an attachment or not. I haven't really looked at the full attachments list for the assault rifles at all yet, but We'll see when the game comes out, but right now the grenade launcher and the new tubes in general is just fading away in existence. Just fecal matter. Next on the list we have the MSMC and the PDW pre-patch and Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And these guns are only in Call of Duty Black Ops 2, just saying. And before they were patched, they were very accurate, powerful, and they basically had no recoil. And basically, they, they were the go-to submachine guns for the game. If you if you wanted to get feeds and you wanted to do really good, you would ran these SMGs. Even still now, they are pretty, pretty staple SMGs in Call of Duty today. They were patched, so they have more recoil and I think a less effective range. But overall, these guns are still pretty fucking badass, and I still use them from time to time myself. Next is probably, besides the noob tubes, the most annoying gun to go against in Call of Duty, and that's the Type 95 and MW3. It's a one burst weapon, very high rate of fire, three round burst, and it was just the most annoying gun to go after. If you have, like, mobility perks and you were pretty fucking accurate, you could destroy people. One burst shot to kill, and it annoyed the hell out of me when Model for 3 came out, even with even though it didn't even have stopping power in the game, it was still overpowering and I hated it. It was the one gun that they, that Infinity War did not patch it. I was steaming. I remember clearly, I went on Call of Duty Elite and see all the changes to the guns. They changed the MP5, they changed the M16, no changes to the Type 95 and I was livid. I was mad. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't like NW3 that much, but overall, still good. But, ah, uh, the Type 95, ah, uh, Type 25, way better than that gun. <laughs> Next, another gun, which, guilty pleasure, I have ran with a few times, is the dual FMGs from MW3. They're basically dual wheel machine pistols, and because of the small reticle, or the hip fire reticle, you could basically fire these guns and pretty much get someone decently at a medium range and the recoil wasn't that bad either it's not like imagine two uzis in mw2 firing them imagine that recoil but like a lot less these guns you could tear through people with this gun and if you had sleight of hands you're basically set i think you either had to have sleight of hand or scavenger no scavenger was the third perk it might have been the third perk it probably was the first but these guns were just Really, they were fast handling, they were fast mobility guns, and overall, they were just a pain to try to get rid of someone. If you're in a close quarters map, you and someone was running that, you're pretty much screwed. Next is the Model 1887 from Call of Duty Model for 2, pre-patched. And these guns, oh my god, these guns were just snipers. 
you had literally akimbo snipers in your hand before this gun got patched and it basically had the range of an assault rifle they were very overpowered you could put fmj stopping power akimbo and you uh, these guns were just the most annoying thing to go against pre-patch and they're still kind of annoying to go against today i don't really see a lot of people running them anymore from when I was playing Modern Warfare 2, I'd barely seen anyone run these guns. And, eh, I mean, I guess the, I guess the craze for the models went dramatically down after they got patched, but it was still, it was a funny gun to use, guilty pleasure, but, like, it, it was still, I was still, I mean, they are an overpowered weapon, and it wasn't knowing going against them. Finally, we have the Ripper SMG from Call of Duty Ghost. Now, a lot of people have said this gun is basically a pay-to-win gun. I've used it before. I personally do agree that it is overpowered. But it, it, it's really the assault rifle slash SMG gun I've always wanted. I, I love both assault rifles and SMGs in Call of Duty. And I've always wanted a gun that would be able to switch to those. But it, this gun was way overpowered. Because first you can switch the range and stuff like that, and it was very accurate as well. And because of the slow, no, not the slow, the fast time to kill, I apologize. The fast time to kill, combined with no recoil and a pretty decent fire rate, which means it was pretty much, you, you could melt through someone in an instant. You can pretty much kill a whole team with at least a one and a half clips of that gun. And it was ridiculous, especially in close range, and if you put in SMG mode, Jesus Christ. And you can put rapid fire on that gun. Some, that's something I did not know. I did not even know you could put rapid fire on and it carries over when you switch to assault rifle mode. And I thought that was ridiculous. And there was still a little bit more recoil, but oh my god. And plus you can put four grip on it. Ugh. That gun was ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. When I first got that weapon, I, I went to town on that. I went to town with that gun and uh, it was... It, it wasn't because how it was made it was OP, it was somewhat the fault that you can die really fast and goes, but still. Even though it was in like a regular Call of Duty game, and uh, it was still pretty, it'll probably still be overpowered as shit. <laughs> so, overall, what I'm trying to say is that there is always going to be a overpowered weapon in Call of Duty. I'm expecting to see a lot of overpowered weapons in Call of Duty Ghosts. Maybe that shotgun, maybe that sniper rifle, I don't know. You you never know what's gonna be overpowered. That assault rifle. I don't I, I forgot what that assault I forgot one of the assault rifles. I forgot what one of them does. But it sounded like it gains accuracy the more you shoot it. And I don't know. I I don't know how all this is gonna work out, but hopefully Sledgehammer will learn from Infinity Ward and Treyarch and make sure to listen to the community and if we say there's something that's really overpowered and we know it's overpowered then they'll probably get on it and fix it right away. What do you guys think? What is your worst experience with an overpowered weapon? And how good do you do with an overpowered weapon? And frankly, I, I know I, I kind of want to ask you a question, but what's your favorite overpowered weapon that you use? I mean, personally, my favorite is a, between the Ripper and the MSMC and the PDW. Because the Ripper, they're both SMGs, and I love SMGs, and the Ripper changes from Assault Rifle to SMG mode, and the MSMC and the PDW, like, just destroys people, nah. But yes, please, comment, rate, and subscribe down below, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Blacky Chan, signing off, and as always, game on. Set, go! Hey!